Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem is found in the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson seven of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. The key to this problem is understanding two really important aspects of water, how they're similar and how they're different. And those two aspects of water, those two characteristics are cohesion and adhesion. Now water we know loves to make hydrogen bonds. That makes it very sticky and water loves to stick to itself and it loves to stick to other things as well. So cohesion is when water sticks to itself. We can remember that because cohesion, cooperate, the water molecules are all cooperating, they're all buddies and they're sticking together. Adhesion, on the other hand, we can remember as add, like we're adding something else to the picture. These water molecules are now sticking to something else, not just to each other. So a couple examples of these, cohesion, for instance, we've got this water right here, and I was in Zion National Park the other day, and I saw a bunch of these little bugs walking on the water. You've probably seen those before. This is a not a very well-drawn bug, but we will give him some antennae to show everybody that he's a bug. There we go. Awesome. So the reason this works is because of cohesion. Cohesion, when these water molecules on the surface, they stick together and they almost make like a net. They create what's called surface tension. Now, us, we're heavy enough, we break right through that. We don't even really notice it. But those bugs show us that that surface tension exists. That cohesion is happening between those water molecules. They're attracted to each other. Now, on the other hand, adhesion, we've got a great example of that right here. We've got this tube stuck in the water. Water's coming up the tube. And you'll notice that the water isn't just flat like you'd expect it actually climbs up the walls of the tube. And the reason it does that is because of adhesion. Those water molecules are sticking to the sides of the tube. They're going to stick to the walls and that's bringing the ends up higher than the middle. Kind of interesting, right? Now that we know that, let's go back to the question and see what we can figure out. All right, question asks us, which of the following effects is due to adhesion? First one right here, water beating up on a tent surface. You've seen that when you're camping. It rains and the water on the top of the tent, instead of just being like a river of water, is beaded up in little drops. Well, the reason that happens is because those water molecules are attracted to each other and so they want to clump together. So that's actually the result of cohesion. That's going to be incorrect. Now let's talk about bile lowering the surface tension of urine. Remember we talked about surface tension. That's a cohesion thing. That water in the urine is creating that surface tension because those molecules are attracted to each other. When we add bile, that basically puts holes in the net. It messes with the ability of the water to all connect together, and so it messes with that surface tension. So the reason this occurs is because our cohesion is being messed with. So this is going to be incorrect as well. This is a cohesion problem, not an adhesion problem. Next, a needle floating on water. That's very similar to the bug we were talking about. We've got that surface tension there because of cohesion. So this is going to be incorrect as well. Now, finally, this is the example we talked about, water climbing a narrow tube. There's that adhesion because the water is sticking to the sides of the tube. That's going to be our correct answer. Let's go ahead and check it out. Awesome. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. Good seeing you, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.